tickles, does it? It's going to tickle more if you can't keep still. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. What are you doing? Giving his engine a good clean. A clean engine is a happy engine. But it would seem that it tickles. You know what today is, don't you? No. What? What happened exactly one year ago today? I have no idea. Keep still. It's Little Red Tractor's birthday. We finished restoring him one year ago today. Did I now? Yes. We should have a birthday party. And presents. True, but we have chores to do first. But after the chores... Everyone should have a party on their birthday. I think a party is a great idea, but let's make it a surprise, OK? Great! A pl Shh! It's supposed to be a surprise, silly. Great! A party! Now, I have work to do, so... Leave it to us, Stan. We'll organise everything. It's a deal. Come on, we have work to do. Then we can think about your birthday. See you later, you two. Let's see if Mum will make a cake. And we'll need one candle too, a big one. Oh, get me down! Oh, why do these things always happen to me? Oh, oh that's better. It's stopped. Oh, I can see Gosling Farm from here. You all right, Stumpy? Don't think you should be playing on the sails. I'm not playing. I was cleaning the windows when the sails started up and knocked me off my ladder. Just you hang on there. I have an idea. Well, I'm hardly going to be moving, Stan. Now, I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that there. I'm going to fix the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height and then you can climb down, OK? OK, but hurry! Hold still, little red tractor. Where you go, Stumpy? Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Stan. You too, little red tractor. <laughs> I don't know anyone who has as many accidents as you. <laughs> I do have my moments, don't I? Oh, where's my hat? There. Good as new. Ah, lovely. Peace and quiet. A perfect place for a spot of fishing, eh, Big Blue? <laughs> oh. Hmm, where shall I sit? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a daisy chain for a little red tractor. I've finished the cake mix. Anyone want to clean out the bowl? Me! Oh, no, listen to that. He's going to scare off the fish. <laughs> One of these days, Dumpy, you're going to break your neck on that. Thing. Nipper's not a thing. You don't call Big Blue a thing, do you? Nah, but Big Blue is useful and works hard for his keep. Well, Nipper's useful too. He makes a lot of noise and throws you all over the place. Ah, well, I, I, I'll give you that. Anyway, I came by to tell you it's Little Red Tractor's birthday. Oh, that's my hat! What is it now? My hat! You just gave it to the fish! <laughs> You are the most accident-prone person I have ever met. And if you ask me, having a birthday for a tractor is really quite silly. Oh, I'm sure I can find him a present of some kind. <coughs> I said I would get him something. What now? Uh, you couldn't catch my hat for me first, could you? I came here to catch fish, not a hat. Hello. What have you got there? Food for the... You know what? We can't 
set it all up with you and Little Red Tractor here. He'll find out about the... you know what? Tell you what, I'll take him around to the garage. I need some wrapping paper anyway. Great! We'll set up the... You, you know, know what. what? One last short trip and then we can finish for the day. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go! Faster, Nipper! <laughs> the wind's drawing my hat! Look out! Oh, no! Phew! Well done. I don't know how you missed him. Stumpy, are you all right? Stumpy! Stumpy! <laughs> Afternoon, Stan. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I was drying my hat. Oh, I've lost it again. There it is, Stumpy. One of these days, Stumpy, you are going to do yourself a mischief on that quad bike. I know. I've already had quite a day for excitement. Listen, I've got Amy and Ryan waiting at the farm. We're going to have a surprise birthday tea for Little Red Tractor. Why don't you and Nipper join us? Oh, oh, oh we'd love to. I'll have to pop to the garage. Meet me at Gosling Farm in half an hour. <coughs> oh, nearly closing time. Oh, just in time, Stan. We're just about ready to close. Glad I caught you. I need some wrapping paper. No problem. Uh, someone's birthday. Actually, it's Little Red Tractors. I finished rebuilding him a year ago today and the kids want to have a surprise party. Oh, what a good idea. Happy birthday, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you wouldn't try to sing, Little Red Tractor. I'll get you a wrapping paper, and I might have a little present for the birthday boy. Is it your birthday, Stan? No, it's his, but don't get him singing again. Don't listen to him. Happy birthday. Here, have the paper on the house, and here's a small gift from Nicola and me. Well, thank you both. Why don't you join us? Oh, Stan, we'd love to come. I'd sh uh, stand and chat, but uh, we're going into Babblebrook tonight to see a band. Well, we'd best be off too. Come on, let's go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday little, little Red, red tractor. tractor! Happy birthday. I made it myself. And we have a cake for you, too. It looks just like you. Now it's time for my present. Stumpy, there's a gift from Walter and Nicola there. Why don't you unwrap it? Oh, my. Look here. Your favourite. What is it? You can unwrap it for Little Red Tractor and then you'll find out. I'll fix these on for you. Thought I might find you all here. Come and join the party. Uh, Stumpy, uh, I was a bit grumpy with you this morning, so I brought you a little gift to say sorry. Huh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, thank you. This should keep me out of trouble. <laughs> and this is a little something for the birthday boy from Big Blue and myself. Well, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. Look, a new towing rope for your toolbox. Happy birthday, Little Red Tractor! Please don't sing! <laughs> ah, that should be plenty. At least enough to give you a good wash patch. Now, I know you don't like it, but you're starting to smell. So, let's get on. Patch? Oh, don't tell me. He's run off. <laughs> Save me, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> what are you two up to? I've got to hide from Ryan. I'm pretending to be the Beast of Bubblebrook. <laughs> I thought you would be too young to have heard that old story. It's one of our favourite scary stories. We're getting ready for our camping trip. We always tell scary stories when we go camping. Camping, eh? Can we camp on your land? Mum says we can go camping. As long as she knows where we are. So can we? Can we, Stan? 
Of course. I'm having an evening in, so if you need anything or get scared... I won't get scared, but Amy might. I will not. <laughs> well, Little Red Tractor and I will be here if you need us. Great! Thanks, Dan. Right, now where is that dog? I guess he'll be home when he gets hungry. Come on, Little Red Tractor. I need to get a video for my evening in. This new muck spreader works a treat. Hard to believe that this smelly old muck can be so good for the crops. One field down and one to go. Oh, I really shouldn't do this, but we'll leave the spreader on and it will save us some valuable time. No one's a what? Come on. Oh, I can't see a thing. It's all in my eyes. I... Oh, oh, that's made it worse. Oh, Mr. Jones, when I get hold of you... Ah, oh, 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 nettles! Oh, ow, my hands! Oh. oh, why, 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 when we're so close to home? Oh. Nah, it can't be. Oh, it is. It's the, it's the, it's the beast of Babblebrook, and it's coming this way. Look, we gotta get out of here. Oh, please, Rusty, please. Oh, 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 oh. Look, if you don't move now, we're gonna be the beast of Babblebrook's lunch, and you're the main course. Oh, you little beauty! Right, let's split! Hey! Sounds like Rusty. Walter, are you there, Walter? Here you go, Stan. Chad Twinkle's new film. I've been looking forward to seeing this one. There's a great scene where he has to jump onto a runaway tractor. The Beast! I I've seen the Beast! The Beast of Babblebrook! I've just seen it! You can't have. That's just an old story. It's real! I've seen it with my own eyes! Oh, you must be mistaken. Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'm locking myself and you, Nicola, inside the garage. Now, come on, Rusty. Perhaps your dad did see something. We'll go check on our cows just in case. Now, one more load should cover it. Hold on. What on earth? No, it can't be. It is. It's the... It's the... The, the Beast of Babelbrook. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. Right. Now what to do? Ah, yes, that's it. Hide. Must hide. Hide till it goes away. Come on, be glue. Hello, ladies. Well, they all seem fine. Let's get on home and see if we can bath that dog. Strange. Why would Stumpy leave Nipper here? We'd better tow him out of the way, but I wonder where Stumpy is. Hello, you two. What's up? Mum won't let us go camping on our own tonight. Walter told her he saw the Beast of Babblebrook. Oh, you know there's no such thing. We know, but Walter went on and on about it. Now Mum sort of believes him. Why don't you ask a grown-up to go with you? I'm sure your mum would be fine with that. Um, maybe. I'd come along, but I've still got to give Patch a bath. What about Mr Jones? Try asking him. OK. Yeah. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's get Nipper home. It was monstrous. All fur and teeth. Yeah, yeah, and claws. Fur and teeth and claws. Scary, it's very scary. Here you go. Two loaves of bread and ten tins of soup. Lovely. Right, I'm off to hide until the beast is caught. I suggest you do the same. Cheerio! Mr Jones has got the right idea. Quick, Nicola, come on, get inside. Both as bad as each other. Look, 
looks like he's busy. Let's ask her anyway. If that's the beast, there's no one here. Go away! It's us, Mr. Jones. Amy and Ryan. Oh, well, you two shouldn't be out alone, not with the beast of Babelbrook roaming the countryside. There's no such thing, Mr. Jones. Of course there is. Now go home directly and don't stop to talk to any strange monsters on the way. But, Mr. Jones... Home! Grown-ups are really weird. Oh, I can't believe it. This day's getting worse. Patch. Patch. Have you given Patch his bath yet? Not yet. I've got to catch him first. What did Mr Jones say about the camping? He's too busy hiding from the beast. <laughs> Look, I've had an idea. What if you camp here in the farmyard? Here? We can put your tent in here, which means I'm seconds away. And if I park Little Red Tractor right by the side, he can keep an eye on you. Brilliant! Don't worry, I'll stop your runaway tractor. Oh, Chad, you're so brave, so fearless. <laughs> then there was a scratching at the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And when the old lady answered the door... <coughs> what was that? The beast or Babble Brook. I'm not kidding, Amy. There's something out there. <gasps> Amy, it's the beast. Yeah, right. <gasps> Shh. It is. Alice had him wait for us. Get behind, little red tractor. Help us, little red tractor. <laughs> what? Go! Oh. What's going on? This red tractor's caught the beast of Babblebrook. Sounds like he's caught something. But what? Stumpy? Stumpy? <laughs> you wouldn't believe the day I've had. Oh, I even managed to lose Nipper. Nipper is safe and sound. Ugh, what is that smell? Um, well, that'll be me. I do pong a bit. You know, I think it must have been you that Walter saw Stumpy wandering about the field. <laughs> Stumpy is the beast of Babblebrook. Little Red Tractor saved us from Stumpy. Ha! <laughs> I reckon he did a good job keeping an eye on the pair of you. He was really cool. You're my hero, Little Red Tractor. That's it, Little Red Tractor. Nice and straight. Morning, Mr. Jones. Stan! Look at them, Big Blue, trying to get their work done before us. Well, we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> Looks like Mr. Jones is ploughing zigzags. <laughs> oh! Finish my chores and make a wish. I see Mr. Big on a great big dish. Everyone there in the town will sing. A Walter is the fishing king. My Stumpy's been rushing around like a mad thing all morning. Dad's been the same. I've never known him work so fast. Hello, ladies. Need sweet corn and air. Slow puncture. Shouldn't hold now, then. Sweet corn and air? Sorry, Nicola, no time for chit-chat. Need corn chop-chop. Urgent appointment with Mr Big, don't you know? Sweet corn. <laughs> Best bait there is. What? Mr Big? Oh, no. I'd better get a shift on. I can't let Mr Jones get my Mr Big. He also might get my secret spot. Ah, uh, yeah. Get ready, old girl. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> you little darling. There you go. Now for that air. Back later, Nicola. Got to catch Mr. Big. Big? Oh, no, you don't, Walter. That fish is mine. Come on, Big Oh, but you're tired. Oh, just once. You only had to work once. Oh, hard cheese. Can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
must dance. <laughs> well, we've certainly earned our afternoon off. Well done, little red tractor. That was a bit close. Stumpy, where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, oh sorry, Stan. I'm hurrying down to the lick. The lick. The lick. The. Um. Yeah, I'm, um. Um. Oh, it's no good, Stan. I'm going fishing. That'll explain the fishing tackle. Well, I'll keep it quiet, though. In case someone else gets my secret spot, it's the best spot for fishing on the whole of the lake. And. Uh, <clears throat> Rumour has it, Mr. Big's been seen first time in years. I heard. I'm headed to the lake myself after a quick stop at Gosling. I'll see you then. Oh, my worms! Oh, oh come back, is it? Oh, I'll see you later. Come back, Lawrence. Ah, you Brian. Come. Shame. You been in a hurry and all? Yeah, shame. Probably missed that urgent appointment now. All right, all right. There was no appointment. I'm going fishing. Yeah, me too. Really? Would you believe it else? Fishing. Fishing, is it? Oh, I did wonder. Look, Walter, we have to get ourselves and all the tackle down to the lake. ASAP. In short, we need transport. Oh, no, you don't. I've got a garage to run, and Sparky's an emergency vehicle, not a taxi. Mm. Oh, I've got a plan. A plan? Now you're talking. I'm sure I saw it here. Aha! Hi, Stan. Hello, you two. Hello, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Where are you going? Little Red Tractor and I are going fishing. Fishing? Wow! Great! Can we come? Of course you can. Hop in the trailer and I'll get the spare rods. If I can find them. <laughs> Nearly there. Not far now. Walter, <coughs> this plan of yours... Oh, you don't have to thank me. Oh, boy, what a plan. <laughs> Just think of the time we save by not walking. Not walking. I have walked. <laughs> What's what you're doing? Stumpy, what are you doing? I have come to fish, and I hereby stake claim on this here spot. That spot? That spot? Spot is my spot. Your spot? No, nah, this is my spot. My secret fishing spot. Well, it can't be. I've been fishing this spot since... since forever. It's not yours. It is so. No, nah, this is my spot. I can't see your name on it. It's been mine since I moved here. You've only been here five minutes. I grew up here. I was here first. But I pushed you. Well, we could share it. Share? Well, there's enough room. Share? Good idea. Problem solved. I think I'll go on the left, unless you're going there, Stumpy. Oh, no, I'll be fine here on the right. Share? I'm taking you to my secret spot, so you can't tell anyone about it. Don't worry, Stan. We won't say a word. Promise. OK. Let's go! Come on, little red tractor. I said, let's go! What's wrong? I'm not sure. Looks like little red tractor doesn't want to go down this path. Seems he'd rather go left. Oh, well. Let's see what's down here. Hold on. I think I recognise this. This is it. This is my granddad's secret spot. He used to bring me fishing here as a lad. I'd forgotten all about it. Well done, little red tractor. Come on. I'm going to teach you two how to fish. Great. I'm going to catch our dinner. I want a pet fish. I'll keep it in a bowl on top of the telly. Well... We'll see. Stop wriggling. 
Hello, you lot. Hello. Oh, do be quiet. Hello. Afternoon, gents. Shush. What? A bite. You've got a bite. Strike. Oh, Amy's got a bite. Impossible. Those old, old sausages. I don't know what to do, Stan. You're doing fine. <laughs> That's it. Let it run. And don't let go. Now, pull the rod up. And as you lower it, reel in. Yeah, I, I'm here now. I could take over, if you like. Amy's doing just fine, thank you. She's doing great. <laughs> here you all are. Oh, my. This is it. Now heave it in. Careful. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, Mr. Big. Oh, well, don't believe it. It's Mr. Big. <laughs> it's huge. I think you're going to need a bigger bowl. We're going to need a bigger telly. You know, I, I remember catching my first... Oh, oh. oh it, it, it was slippery. Oh, Butterfingers. My fish! Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Amy. I... I, I really didn't mean to let go. It's OK. I think it would have been too big for me to look after. That's the spirit, Amy, love. The fun part's the catch. We always throw them back anyhow. Well, that's right. It's very true. Very true. Well, it was fun. And we can come back to Little Red Tractor's secret spot whenever you like. <laughs> come on, everyone. Let's go back to Gosling. I've got some fish fingers in the freezer. Yeah, oh, right, right. Yeah. 